science learners! Welcome to the new episode of Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Special shout out and congratulations to my dear subscribers who are Kat M, Lizzie and Choco, Rain Elizabeth de la Rama, Leo Lago, Ryzen Kian Galman at Maria Angelica Besana na maluwalhating nakapasa sa kanilang nagdaang summative test or assessment sa science para sa nakaraang markahan. Masayang masaya ako sapagkat ako ay naging bahagi ng inyong maliit na tagumpay ukol sa pagpapaunlad ng inyong kaalaman sa mundo ng siyensya. Are you ready to learn new science concept for today? I am Teacher Lariza, your learning body in exploring science for. In our last science episode, you learned about the soil and its characteristics. Again, the earth is composed of three main components, which are the soil, water, and air, with the sun as our main source of energy. Soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. There are three main types of soil, which are the clay, loam, and sand. Here are the different types of soil and their characteristics. We have sand, silt, loam, clay, chalk, and peat soil. Clay has the smallest particles while sand is characterized as pores. Silt, loam, and peat are mostly sandy and have moderate to small particles. In terms of texture, both silt and peat are fine, loam is soft, chalk is light, while clay is heavy and sand is gritty. In terms of color, Loam and silt are dark brown, clay and chalk are brown, peat is dark, while sand is light gray. In terms of water absorbability, loam is the best, while sand is the poorest among others. Aside from that, soil scientists or pedologists study the vertical section of the soil, showing the nature and sequence of its various layers and call it soil profile. For a quick review, can you identify which of these pictures is an example of clay, loam, and sand soil? Comment down your answers below this video. Now that you know the soil and its characteristics, we can now move forward to our next science lesson, which is entitled, Uses of Water from Different Sources. Science Learning Episode Uses of water from different sources. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to 1. Identify the different sources of water and 2. Explain the uses of water in our daily activities. Did you know that three-fourths of the earth is composed of water? Yes, 71% of the earth's surface is composed of water. Water comes from different sources. It may come from open or closed sources. It may also come from a small body of water or a big body of water. Others come from clouds as rain. Ang uri ng tubig ay nakadepende sa source o pinagmula nito. There are three main sources of water which are seawater, freshwater, and groundwater. Let us discuss them one by one. Seawater is salty. This is because it contains plenty of salt. It is found in seas and oceans. It is also called as hard water. Ito ang bumubuo sa 70% ng Earth's surface. We cannot directly drink water from this source because of its salt content. Pero kung ito ay isa sa ilalim sa tinatawag nating desalination process, we can furnish a limitless supply of drinking water. Maraming malalaking desalination plants ang itinayo sa may init at tuyong lugar sa Middle East upang matugunan nila ang kanilang kakulangan sa fresh water. Next, we have fresh water. It is also called as surface water. Hindi tulad ng sea water, ito ay walang salt content. Ito ay matatagpuan sa open at maliliit na anyong tubig tulad ng rivers, lakes, creeks, and ponds. Surface water comes mostly from rain. Rain water flows from land into streams and rivers. 
Sa mga malalamig na lugar o bansa, ito ay nagmumula rin sa snow. Great quantities of snow accumulate from highlands and mountains during winter. In spring, the snow melts and runs off into surface water. Only 2.53% of the global water is fresh water. Last is groundwater. 0.76% of the world's water is groundwater. It is found beneath the Earth's surface. Ito ay ang tubig na sinisipsip ng lupa at naiipon sa underground layer na tinatawag nating water table. Groundwater is a safe source of drinking water. Ito ay tinuturing na isa sa pinakamalinis na pinagkukunang tubig na mayroong dissolved minerals na galing sa lupa na kinakailangan ng ating katawan. Springs are openings of groundwater directly from the Earth's surface. Where else could be the other sources of water? Well, 1.76% of it is stored in ice cups, glaciers, and permafrost. Other source of water is cloud na nagmula sa evaporating water. Glaciers and icebergs are solid water found only in very cold countries and contain two-thirds of the Earth's fresh water. Now, let us proceed to the different uses of water from different sources. Ang tubig ay tinatawag din nating renewable resource dahil ito ay paulit-ulit nating nagagamit sa tulong ng proseso ng water cycle. Subalit, marami pa rin lugar sa buong mundo tulad ng ating bansa na nakararana sa kakulangan sa water supply dahil sa proseso ng distribution nito at sa kalidad at kaligtasan ng gamit nito. Now, let us discuss some of the uses of fresh water. Fresh water is used for cleaning, washing, bathing, preparing for food, and other household uses. Fresh water sustains plant and animal life. It is used to water plants and is given to animals to drink. Without water, plants will wither. Without water, animals and people will die of thirst. Fresh water in rivers, lakes, and springs is used for recreation. One can go swimming or boating in these places. Aside from that, clean rivers and lakes are also a rich source of shrimps, crabs, and shellfish. Now, let us proceed to the uses of sea water. Scientists say that the oceans produce 80% of the oxygen we breathe. This is possible because of the planktons, the tiny organisms that live in the oceans and seas. Seawater is the habitat of aquatic plants and animals. These plants and animals are used mainly for food and medicine. Aside from that, seas and oceans are also used for recreation such as swimming, boating, and windsurfing. They are also used as routes for local and international transportation and marine navigation. Now, let us try to check your understanding by answering this short quiz. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Write your answer in your notebook. 1. Fresh water is also called hard water. 2. Groundwater is a safe source of water. 3. Seawater can be used as routes for transportation for boats. 4. The different kinds of water are seawater, fresh water, rainwater, and groundwater. 5. Seawater is also called surface water. 6. Seawater is good for drinking. 7. The oceans, seas, rivers, and ponds are the habitats of most aquatic plants and animals. 8. Without water, life on Earth is possible. 9. Fresh water and groundwater are two important sources of water supply. 10. Another source of water are clouds and snow.
11. Ground water is considered as the cleanest water. 12. Ground water is found in lakes, creeks, and rivers. 13. Sea water can be turned into rock salts. 14. Sea water may also be used in farm for watering. 15. Fresh water accumulated in the underground layer is called water table. Now, let us mark your answers. For number one, the answer is false. Fresh water is not called hard water, but surface water. Two, the answer is true. Groundwater is a safe source of water. Three, the answer is true. Seawater can be used as routes for transportation for boats. Four, the answer is false. The three kinds of water are seawater, freshwater, and groundwater. Five, it is also false because seawater is also called as hard water. Six, the answer is false. Seawater needs to undergo desalination in order for it to be treated to be as drinking water. 7. It's true. Oceans, seas, rivers, and ponds are the habitats of most aquatic plants and animals. 8. The answer is false. Without water, life on Earth is impossible. We need water to live. 9. It's true. Fresh water and groundwater are two important sources of water supply. 10. It's true. Another source of water are clouds and snow. 11. The answer is yes, it's true. Groundwater is considered as the cleanest water. 12. It's false. Fresh water is found in lakes, creeks, and rivers. Groundwater is beneath the Earth's surface. 13 is true. Yes, seawater can be turned into rock salts because of its salt content. 14. The answer is false. Seawater cannot be used for watering plants. And 15. The answer is false. Fresh water is not accumulated in the underground layer and is called water table. It should be ground water. Did you get all the answers correct? Wow! You did an excellent job! Now let us discuss some of the reasons why it is important to conserve water. One is to prepare for future droughts. Two, to guard against rising costs and potential conflict. 3. To make water available for recreational purposes. 4. To preserve the environment. And of course, this is to strengthen communities. Important reminder, let us do our best in conserving water. Let us use water wisely and properly. If we do not conserve water, we might face a big problem. Bear in mind that water is an important resource. Let us prevent making water scarcity and pollution as a major problem of the world and in the future. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe sa ating channel at i-ring mo na rin ang yung notification bell para manatili kang updated sa ating susunod na videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next week. Bye-bye!